The year 2020 brings with it a host of new TV options, from broadcast thrillers to Disney Plus franchises, and a great many of them are set to scratch your science fiction itch. Whether you're watching traditional TV or binge-watching your hearts out on your favorite streaming service, here are the sci-fi shows to watch out for in 2020. Snowpiercer took a long journey on its way to a television debut, and it was almost as wild and dramatic behind the scenes as the story being told on the show. The series is based on the 2013 film of the same name, directed by Academy Award winner Bong Joon-ho, and starring Chris Evans and Tilda Swinton, which was itself adapted from the French graphic novel that debuted in 1982. The TV development saga, meanwhile, dates all the way back to 2015. In the time since, the series has seen its original showrunner exit, its original pilot director refused to come back for reshoots, and had its network changed from TNT to TBS and then back to TNT. It's been a long ride, but now Snowpiercer is finally ready to depart on its television voyage. The Snowpiercer series is like the film and graphic novel, set several years after the world has been enveloped in ice and rendered uninhabitable. The viewers will follow the residents of a massive locomotive as it circles a snowbound world, with a focus on the various class struggles and schemes within the crude society that sprung up among the remnants of humanity. Starring Hamilton's David Diggs and Oscar winner Jennifer Connelly, Snowpiercer will finally debut on TNT on May 31st, 2020. For the last eight years, Dark Horse Comics has been home to Peter Hogan and Steve Parkhouse's Resident Alien. The comic book series centers on an alien from outer space who's forced to hide out in a small town while he waits for someone from his species to come and pick him up. Since 2018, Sci-Fi has been developing a TV series based on the comics, and in 2020, we'll finally get to see the fruits of that labor. Resident Alien stars Alan Tudyk as a title alien, who adopts the human name Harry van der Spiegel. After finding himself stranded on Earth, Harry decides to take on a human disguise and pose as a doctor in a small Colorado town. That's all complicated enough, but life gets a little harder for Harry when he's roped into a series of mysteries he must help to solve. Oh, and there's one kid in the town who can see right through his human disguise. Resident Alien will premiere on Sci-Fi in the summer of 2020. The vast collection of shows and characters known to fans as the Arrowverse just keeps expanding over at The CW. 2020 sees the flagship series that launched the small-screen universe, Arrow, ending its run after the death of Oliver Queen in the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover. But that just means there's more room in the schedule for future series. Thankfully for fans who have been eager to see more of them, some of that room is going to be taken up by the Arrowverse's all-new Superman and Lois Lane. The most prevalent version of Superman in this universe, played by Tyler Hoechlin, first popped up on Supergirl, while his version of Lois Lane, played by Elizabeth Tollock, debuted in the Elseworlds crossover event in December of 2018. In October of 2019, The CW announced that it was developing a spin-off series that would center on Hoechlin's Superman and Tollock's Lois, fulfilling a long-standing fan wish for a new TV series about the couple of steel. Superman and Lois does not yet have a premiere date, but we'll likely see it arriving sometime in the fall of 2020. 20. Steve Carell became a global superstar thanks to his starring role in The Office, a workplace comedy series that led to numerous opportunities as a film actor in both comedy and drama. In 2020, Carell is returning to the workplace, and he's bringing Office writer Greg Daniels along for the ride. Space Force, co-created by Carell and Daniels, will follow a group of government employees as they try to develop the sixth branch of the United States Armed Forces. Carell will play a general trying to lead the Space Force in its mission to get back to the moon by 2024. Carell is joined on the mission by an incredible ensemble cast, including the Americans Noah Emmerich, Sonic the Hedgehog's Ben Schwartz, and John Malkovich, another actor who's brilliant at both comedy and drama. With Carell starring as well as co-creating the series, we can expect plenty of office-level gags along the way when Space Force hits Netflix in 2020. In the spring of 2019, Avengers Endgame ended a decade-long era of storytelling in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with a climactic battle for the fate of all existence. It also set the stage for the next phase of stories in the MCU. We're only just beginning to see what comes next, but we do know a lot of it will unfold on the Disney Plus streaming service, through shows like The Falcon and The Winter Soldier. At the end of Endgame, Steve Rogers passed Captain America's shield onto his friend Sam Wilson, better known as Falcon, with the blessing of Steve's best friend Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier. The upcoming Disney series will explore the aftermath of that decision, as Sam contends with the legacy he is now a part of, with a little help from Bucky. The series will also feature the return of Helmut Zemo from Captain America Civil War, and Sharon Carter to the MCU, as well as the live-action debut of Captain America knockoff US Agent. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier will arrive on D+, sometime in late 2020. 
The events of Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame also had a major impact on the lives of Vision and Scarlet Witch. The battle with Thanos left Vision apparently dead and his lover mourning him, but the pair are set to be reunited in WandaVision, a new Disney Plus series that will somehow trap the two heroes in a condensed history of television sitcoms. Exactly how and why that happens is the mystery that we're left with after the teaser, but we do know that a few familiar faces will be back in action for the show. Tiona Paris has joined the series as an adult version of Monica Rambeau, the longtime comic book hero who first appeared as a child in Captain Marvel. The series will also reintroduce Thor supporting character Darcy Lewis, played by Kat Dennings, to the MCU when it hits Disney Plus sometime in 2020. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.